I want to ask a question for a friend. So she was married. She got married to a U.S. citizen. They went to an interview and they denied her saying that, you know, she, they just said to them, why don't you just admit it that the marriage is fraud? So they believed the marriage was not real. They denied her. So after a few years, they filed an appeal. The appeal was approved. If they charged her with fraud, with marriage fraud, she can never get her green card ever for life. So she has to overcome the burden if she ever tries to go get a green card in the future. She has to overcome the burden of proving that that first marriage was real, which is very difficult. Appeals for these I-130 denials take five, six years. I would have refiled again and proved it was a real marriage. Where is she at with the case now? So I don't know um, if those lawyers are playing her or what's going on, but her daughter ended up turning 21 and filed for her. Right. And she, she, got, w- she got denied again for marriage fraud from the prior. Yes. Yes. And then they waited two years, she said, and then she refiled now with her daughter. But Brad, she got a work permit. She's going to get denied again unless she can prove that first marriage was real. So she's going to keep getting denied. She's going to keep getting denied. She needs she needs some new blood representing her, I think. So if they know they're going to deny her the green card, would they still give her the work authorization? Yeah, because sometimes they're just blindly processing paperwork. And no one realizes that she's barred from getting a green card until she goes for her interview. Oh, wow. So because when you're accused of marriage fraud, that's it. Yeah. Um, I would strongly urge her to speak to me. Yes, that's what I want her to do. So I told her I'm going to call in, see if there's anything, any way. And then I'm going to have to argue that immigration is wrong. That's the way to do it. You have to argue they're because wrong. They've just been and pulling her along and giving her work authorization. Yeah. Yeah. And now she thinks that this attorney tells her that, oh, it's either they're going to call her for an interview or they're just going to send it to her in the mail based on the fact that her daughter is now the one doing her no, paperwork. Marriage fraud is marriage fraud. No. That doesn't forgive the marriage fraud. Yeah. So she needs to speak to you. Okay. Okay, Brad. I'm going to set up an appointment with you with you for her. All right, and thank then, you. All right, bro. Thanks, bro.